side loading a brush for floated or side load application on a project is one of the most important skills for an acrylic painter to learn. If you're only using your Stay Wet palette to hold your paints open through the day, you're missing one of the nicest benefits of the palette. It is wonderful for side loading and makes side loading much easier for a painter. For side loading, I normally use an angular brush and I refer to the toe and the heel of the brush as I'm working. You always begin with a damp blotted brush, so the brush in water, blot it off on a paper towel. Then I'm going to punch into a paint. I'm going to use deep burgundy today because it shows up well. I'm going to punch the toe of the brush into the edge of the paint. Move to another spot on the palette and begin to blend the brush, blending both sides back and forth. The goal is to get rid of the heavy edge on this side of the paint and to have a nice gradation in across the color. Uh, many times, if we rush this process, we will come to our painting with a side-loaded brush. If you just blend a couple of times, just dip and blend back and forth a couple of times, you will come to your painting, put it down, and you'll have a heaviness, a ridge, right next to the darkest area. That That's the most important thing to get rid of. As you're blending the brush, we want to spend a lot of time here on the palette. I can't emphasize too much that the work is done here. If it's correct here, when you leave the palette, it will be correct on your painting. As you're side loading the brush, I'm going to pick up just a little bit more paint here. If you need a wider side load, walk the brush toward the paint. If the side load is becoming too wide in the brush, but you still need to do a little bit of blending, walk away from the paint. Now let's see what we have. Put this down and here we have just a nice soft gradation of paint. I'm going to walk it out here for you just a little bit. Nice, nice soft, no ridge in the color, no ridge in this side of the color. This spot can be used over and over again. If I wish to load, I'll just pick up a little more paint and go back to that blending area. If it becomes too uh, wide or messed up in some way, you just gently wipe it off. But it's somewhat like loading oils. You can return to that same area on the Stay Wet palette. Through the day, every time I have a paper towel that's too wet to blot my brush on anymore, I clean these blending areas off. The palette won't be nice pristine white anymore, but you can go back into that area. There is no paint there. You can go back into those areas and continue to load your brush all through the day. When you are side loading, you can also achieve more than one value with the same mixture or color. It depends on how much pigment you pick up in your brush in relation to water. If I want a dark application of color, I will pick up more pigment or more paint. I can go even darker than that with the same mixture. If I need a pale side load of color, I'll pick up just a small amount of paint and blend it into the side load.